stands for Machine Learning Course, or rather specialization. With almost 266,000 students enrolled, it's actually one of the most popular machine learning courses on the platform. Oh my god. And the course page on Coursera does look impressive, over 15,000 reviews with general rating or 4.9 out of 5. That's pretty close to a perfect score. But is it really that good? And should you invest time and effort into it or give it a pass and choose another course? My name is Daniel and today we'll talk about these things. Machine Learning Course by Stanford University. What is it about? Curriculum and completion. Time frame. Pricing and certification. Career opportunities. Student reviews. And as always, I will let you know what I personally think about this course. Also, I leave all course related links in the description below for your convenience. Let's get started. Okay, let's go. Course overview. Today machine learning can do something incredible. With the help of this technology we can spot patterns in data and make predictions that are far beyond what people in the past could do. This is having a huge impact on the world. Thanks to fast processing technology, machine learning and AI are giving birth to new ideas and creations. This includes things like chatbots for customer service, software that can recognize faces, and even self-driving cars. Since many companies in different fields are using it, there are a lot of job opportunities available today. Research data shows that nearly 40% of all jobs in the United States might be automated by 2030, and even now Indeed has almost 30,000 listings related to machine learning. If you are one of many people who want to start a career in this field, you should definitely consider taking a professional course. A machine learning course like this one. It was made by Deep Learning AI and Stanford University. Let me explain. Deep Learning AI is an expert company in the field of education and technology. Their goal is to help people worldwide prepare for a future where artificial intelligence plays a significant role. <clears throat> Stanford University is one of the oldest and highest ranked universities in the United States. It's well known for its top-level educators and high-level standards. So the machine learning course is designed for beginners and will teach you the basics. You will also learn how to use these skills to create practical AI applications. Moreover, Machine Learning course by Stanford gives you a wide-ranging start to modern machine learning. You will learn about different concepts like supervised learning, which includes things like linear regressions and neural networks, unsupervised learning like clustering and simplifying data, and even some top methods used in Silicon Valley for AI, and machine learning like fine-tuning models and focusing on improving data quality. When you finish this program, you will have the knowledge and the skills to use machine learning efficiently in real-life situations. That's why if you want to enter the world of AI or pursuing a machine learning career, this course is a perfect starting point for you. And here is a cherry on top. Jokey. Joke maker. This machine learning course is instructed by Andrew Ng. He used to be the chief scientist at Baidu and led the Google Brain Deep Learning project. The Google Brain project is a group of researchers at Google who study artificial intelligence and machine learning. They have been around since 2011, and their discoveries and ideas have been used widely in Google's own products. And I think it's always great to know that the course you are taking is taught by the top professionals in the field. Curriculum Alright folks, and now let's have a look at the course structure. Oh, oh. Here I come, oh. here I come. Oh. Well, first of all, that's not really a course, what? but a specialization that consists of three courses. They are Supervised Machine Learning, Regression and Classification. In this course you will create machine learning models in Python by utilizing well-known machine learning libraries such as NumPy and Scikit-learn. Develop and train supervised machine learning models for tasks involving prediction and binary classification, which include linear regression and logistic regression. And this pretty small course that takes 15 hours to complete. The second course is called Advanced Learning and Algorithms. Here you will create and train a neural network using TensorFlow to carry out multi-class classification. Implement effective approaches for developing machine learning models to ensure that they perform well on various real-world data and tasks. Create and utilize decision trees and tree ensemble methods, such as random forests and boosted trees. 
This course takes 31 hours to complete. Unsupervised learning recommends reinforcement learning. During this course you will apply unsupervised learning methods for tasks like clustering and anomaly detection. Construct recommendation system using collaborative filtering and content-based deep learning techniques. And finally create a deep reinforcement learning model. This course will take you around 26 hours. And as you see, it has a lot of material to learn. This course managed to include a surprising amount of details in a relatively short time. It's important to know that while this course is beginner-friendly, it does include some Python coding. My personal recommendation is to make sure you know some basics of Python before you enroll. All in all, you are expecting to invest approximately 2 months in machine learning specialization. This is provided you spend at least 10 hours a week learning. And I think it's a reasonable completion time frame for a course like this. However, if you will find that you struggle with certain ideas and concepts, you will definitely spend more time on it. One of the great things about this course is that the schedule is flexible. You can take it at your own pace. Pricing and certification. Guys, before we move on, I tried to make educational content in an entertaining way. Make it fun instead of boring. In return, I just ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Thanks. Alright, all this sounds great, but how much does it cost? Well, this course isn't free. As a part of the Coursera platform, it requires buying a subscription in order to enroll and get certified. The good thing is that the subscription will give you access to hundreds of other courses and certification program with no extra charge. Once you complete all three courses, you will get a Coursera certificate of completion and also a Stanford University certificate of completion. You can post both on your LinkedIn profile or add to your resume. Career opportunities here comes the most important question. Will this course help you land a job? My answer is yes and no. You have to understand that this three course program is designed to give you a specialization in machine learning and intermediate level of knowledge, but not a full-fledged profession. Will it guarantee getting a high-paying position related to machine learning? Well, no, I don't think so. Will it make your resume more appealing to recruiters and increase your chances of finding a good job? Yes, definitely. Student reviews. Ok, now let's have a look at what other students think about this course. As I said at the beginning of this video, the student reviews for this course are overwhelmingly positive. A 4.9 out of 5 rating is very impressive. From what I saw, there are only a few reviews giving the course less than 4 stars. For example, this 5-star review says, This course is an excellent course for introductory machine learning. All of these topics are covered in great detail. And it is an honor to be taught by Andrew N., the great teacher. And here is another highly rated review. Great course and very well taught by Andrew. The only problem is that now I am left with a burning desire to learn even more and start applying all this knowledge everywhere. But there is some criticism too. Do you see what you're doing to him? You're making him upset. How important is this to you? <laughs> From what I have seen so far, people aren't happy about a certain shortage of practical tasks. For example, this 4-star review says, The course needs more application exercises and know just the theory of the concepts. And as far as I see, this course is definitely not focused on the practical side of things. However, I don't think it's even supposed to. Because this specialization gives you the theoretical knowledge necessary for grasping the concept of machine learning and it does that beautifully. So what do I think about this course? Is it really worth taking? In my opinion, yes. It is an excellent course, or rather specialization that introduces you to the idea of machine learning. It offers a fair amount of challenge, but isn't overly complicated. For those who, like me, would like more practical tasks and projects, I would recommend combining this course with other courses and certification programs related to AI, machine learning and data science. Alright, fellow developers, that's it. I left all course-related links in the description below. Feel free to check them out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and till next time.